An uninvited visitor knocks on the door. In search of food. As people look on, slightly baffled by the situation. It trods on peacefully, leaving the village intact. But that isn't always the case in Thailand. This elephant knocked down part of a wall to force his way into the kitchen. Look, 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 he will charge him. And it can get dangerous. Look, he charged him. Far from a harmonious cohabitation between elephants and man, it's challenging at times, lethal at others. Sompong Anurichan takes us to the place where he was attacked last year, when at six in the morning, an elephant came charging at him. It struck here, here and here. My bike was destroyed. I was knocked unconscious for several minutes, and when I woke up, it was standing there, just looking at me calmly, and then it left. Sompong spent three days in hospital as a result. I was bleeding everywhere, my arm here, on my back too. Look, my bone isn't in the right place anymore. At least 20 people were killed by elephants in Thailand last year. And there are fatalities on both sides. Thanks to conservation programs, their population is increasing by 8% every year, with their total number estimated to be between 3 and 4,000. As they roam around in search of food, they sometimes come face to face with humans. So to try and reduce the number of incidents, a group of 200 volunteers works to keep them away from human settlements. At the head of the NGO is French co-founder Nani Fouad. In Africa, elephants die because of poaching. But here in Asia, they're killed in conflicts with humans, electrocuted or poisoned, for example. Scared or claiming revenge for the damage to their crops, a dozen elephants are killed by humans every year. This one was shot 15 times. Another was electrocuted by a wire strategically placed to kill intruding elephants. To avoid these escalations, Nanny and her team patrol the outskirts of villages every evening. Locations where elephants often venture into. A resident has alerted them of an elephant nearby. We're following its trail. It went this way. He's here, he's here. And instead, they use less harmful methods, shouting and shining their torches to try to push it back. The elephant was next to a house in the village. <clears throat> so now that we've found it, and because it's calm and doesn't seem aggressive, we're going to try and push it back into the forest so that it doesn't come close again. Can it be dangerous? It can be very dangerous. When you see it in that position, it could quickly turn around and charge us. So that's why we always keep a safe distance. This villager, who isn't part of the NGO, is using fireworks to fend it off. It's a common practice, but the NGO doesn't encourage it, as it could make the elephants turn violent. They find it to be an efficient method. But look, that's an accident waiting to happen. It's hard for us to really say something. This is their area, but these are the kind of things that we are trying to change. A difficult battle, as a lack of natural habitat forces elephants further and further into the unknown.